there are multiple ways for a teacher to record his or her lesson. One of the methods to record a lesson is to record it directly through Teams. In order to do so, you should create a new team, which no one else is a member in. Let's say I'm, I'm going to create a team and naming it Lesson Recordings and I will not add any member in this team. So this team will only be used to record my lessons. Once you have your team created and you want to start recording your lesson, you can create a different channel or else you can use the general channel and we click on meet. We can give the meeting a title. We can decide whether to use the camera and the microphone. In my case, I'm only using the microphone and we click on join now. So we are starting a new meeting with no members in it so that we can record this particular meeting, which in other words will be our lesson. Do not forget that in order for the lesson to be recorded, you obviously need to click on these three dots and click on start recording. What I like to do before starting the recording is to prepare the, sh the screen, the share screen beforehand and have all the files opened. So now I am displaying my screen to the students so that I can follow the notes, I can draw anything on the whiteboard, etc. Once you have everything prepared, you can go to your meeting and click on Restart Recording. And you can see that the recording has just started. So I minimize and continue on with my lesson. Once I'm done, I open the meeting window and I stop recording. So that is how you record a lesson which you want to share with your students. That is the first step. Once your recording is done, it will automatically upload to your stream, to Microsoft Stream, from where you have to share with your students. So the next thing to do once the recording is done is to open your recording in Microsoft Stream and change the permission of that video so that you can share with multiple teams that you own. Once my uploading is done and I can find my recording on stream, the final thing to do is to change the access rights of this particular video so that all of my groups, all of my teams can watch this video. Because as, as it currently stands, only members of the team I have just created can view this video. In order to do this, I click on these three dots and I click on add to group slash channel. As you can see, once you click on that button, you will get a new window which is telling you what permissions this particular video has. In my case, I need to give permission to all of the three different teams that I own so that they have display rights in this video. So I search for not people, but groups and I type in the name of my team. My team is named class 1, the other team is named class 2 and my other team is named class 3. Obviously here you write the name of your particular team with which you want to share this video. So class 1, class 2 and class 3. As you can see, you have added three teams, three different teams, which now have display rights in this particular video. If you skip this step and you share the link to the video, students in that team won't be able to view your video because it would be private and only visible to this particular team. So now I gave the permission rights to this particular video and I click save. Now I have successfully changed permissions for this video and the final thing to do is just sharing the particular link. So I click on copy and I paste this particular video link into my teams. So I go back to teams, I select which team I want to post this video in, let's say class one. So I pasted the link to this video and I'm going to post this particular video to all of my teams. So I'm clicking go post to multiple channels and I'm selecting all of my classes. 
when I post all of my teams, so class 1, class 2 and class 3, if I go for example on class 3, will have my lesson recorded and shared with my students. All the students need to do is click on this link and they can view your lesson.